Organization of the plant body. This segment of the tutorial will talk about plant body organization, including the roots and stems, and the meristem, leaves, and flowers. Plant body. Roots are used to anchor the plant and for absorption of nutrition from the soil. Shoots are the major site of photosynthesis that hold flowers, fruits, and seeds. This is the root. This is the stem. And here are the leaves. The stem and leaves are part of the shoot. The plant body is made up of tissues, ground tissue, vascular tissue, and dermal tissue. Ground tissue, vascular tissue, and dermal tissue in the stem. Notice the difference between these tissue types, whether it's in the leaf or in the stem. Also notice the similarities. Root, crosscut, ground, vascular, and dermal. Notice its arrangements. Root structure. Epidermis is the surface cell. Cortex tissue make up the parenchyma cells. Endodermis, the most inner layer of the cortex. Vascular bundle, inner circle of cells. This is the root cross section. Identify the epidermis, cortex, endodermis, and vascular bundles. Root, root structure, longitudinal view. Root cap, it protects the delicate tissues as the roots elongates and help perceive gravity. The zone of cell divisions, this is where the cells actually multiply. The zone of cell elongation, cells become several times longer than wide. The zone of maturation, Cells differentiate into specific cell types. Five major root types. Prop roots come out from the lower parts of stems. Aerial roots anchor climbing stems to vertical surfaces. Storage roots are used for food storage, like horseradish. Tap roots main roots growing downward, the primary root grows much larger than the secondary roots. Fibrous roots branching and rebranching. Root function. Root functions to take water and minerals up from the ground. Roots are also important for anchoring the plant. Stem. The functions of stem include support for leaves and increasing in diameter, girth, as well as elongation. It transports fluids between the roots and the leaves. These are examples of stems. A stem is the part of a plant from which shoots and buds arise. This is the structure of a stem. 
the terminal bud. Internode, lateral bud, and node where bud or leaves attach to the stem. Modified stems. Modified stems have various functions. Tubers, like potatoes, storage of food. Stolons, strawberries, generate new plants. Bulbs, tulips, onions, storage of food. Corms, taros, storage of food. Stem cross section. This is the cross section of the stem of a plant. This is the epidermis, the collenchyma cells, and the parenchyma. This is part of the cortex. Stem, xylem, and phloem. Xylem. Mostly composed of dead cells, xylem transports water and dissolved ions from the root system to the stem. The lignified thick-walled xylem cells strengthen the stem. Phloem is composed of living cells and transports synthesized organic foods such as carbohydrates from the leaves to other parts of the plant. Meristem. Meristem is a kind of embryonic tissue in plants made up of unspecialized meristematic cells located at the roots and shoots. Apical meristems, terminal meristems, root and shoots apical meristems at the tips of stems and roots where growth causes an increase in the length of stems and roots. Lateral meristems, axillary meristems, is growth that thickens stems and roots. Meristems. A pickle meristems at the tip of the shoot. This is a cross section of the apical meristem. This is a cross-section of the lateral meristem. Bud. A bud is an undeveloped shoot and normally occurs in the axle of a leaf or at the tip of the stem. Once the bud is formed, it may remain for some time in a dormant state or form a shoot immediately. A bud can develop into a flower or a leaf. Leaf function. Leaves are the major sites for photosynthesis which provide food for almost all life forms. Light. Photosynthesis, creating carbohydrates, food. For animals. Leaf structure. Petiole, a leaf stalk, attaches leaf to plant. Lamina is the leaf blade. Midrib, vein, vascular bundles for transport. Leaf apex, the outer end of the leaf. 
leaf cells cross section. Cuticle, the wax layer. The cuticle wax layer secreted by upper epidermal cells for protection. These are the vascular bundles. Vascular bundles, transportation. Mesophyll cells. Mesophyll cells are important in photosynthesis. Epidermal cells are for protection and interaction with the environment. Specialized leaf cells. Guard cells. Located on lower epidermis, controlling gas exchange and water loss. Occurs in pairs and are shaped so that stomata, a pore, exists between them. They can change shape with the result that the pore disappears. Stomata. Trichome. Trichomes are specialized epidermal cells present in most plants. Bundle sheath cells, specialized cells in certain plants for photosynthesis. Flowers' reproductive organs. Flowers have these specialized reproductive organs. Carpal, anther, filament. Stamen equals the anther plus the filament. Petal. Seeple. 